Hey guys, Thundi E here, and we're taking a look at the Galaxy S9 Plus camera. It's got a lot of features, a ton of features built into this device. Now, the, the S9 and the S9 Plus have a very interesting camera setup. They've got that dual aperture camera, which is an f-stop of 1.5 and 2.4. And you're going, okay, why should I care about that? Very simple. At f-stop of 1.5, it means the aperture opens up. So basically uh, the area around the lens opens up to allow in more light. More light means better images. That's strictly a very simple process. Now, with the S9 and S9 Plus, you can do that. And the S9 Plus also has the telephoto, which means you've got the 2x zoom. So you can go in and zoom in. You can see Superman right there. And I can take a photo, I have the flash on. So I'm actually gonna turn that off and do it again with the flash off and I can zoom out. So that's what you have there. Now, there are a lot of new features built into the camera app. And one of the easiest things you notice is that it's much easier to go through features to feature. So you can just swipe left or right uh, to get to any of these features. Now, the first one, of course, is auto. And as you can see, we can jump to record, we can take a photo, we can also go to our previous photos right there. A couple of features in the bottom, we've got the flash, which we turn on, off, automatic. We've got full, full, full view off or full view on. I like, to, I like it on. Um, we've got, of course, a couple of uh, filters we can go through. We can switch or we can swipe up to switch to the selfie camera, very simple. And then we've got our main settings. And here you can go through a bunch of things like HDR, your slow-mo settings to do multi-take or single. And we'll get to that in a second, picture size. But one thing I want to stress and mention here is that this records at 4K 60 frames per second. So you can actually get full 4K 60 frames per second recording, H, uh, EV, EVC, uh, you can save your files as that as well. You can also save your images as either RAW or JPEG, which is nice. So you've got a few more features here, floating camera button, all that stuff you can actually go ahead and change. But of course, the main menu is much simple to navigate around. So as I mentioned, this auto, we swipe right, we've got live focus, um, and we can actually take a live focus photo, move this a little closer here to see, but it's not actually come up. But you get the idea there. Oh, there we, oh, we had a live focus for a second, but we can take a live focus for a go on that. We have our pro mode, which is something Samsung has had for a while. And you can actually go ahead and customize things like your ISO, move that there. You can also manually change the aperture. So F1.5 to F2.4. This is well lit, so you will naturally see that. But you get the whole idea here. You've got panorama. You've got a dedicated food mode. Now, if we move past to the other side, past auto, super slow-mo comes up. Now, if we had something moving real fast in front or at least moving at a steady pace, we can actually do a slow-mo at 960 frames per second, 720p, really captive. We have a, we'll have a video which will showcase all these modes for you so you can see the final product. And then moving here, we have uh, AR emoji. We'll get to that, but we just wanna move quickly to hyperlapse, which Mr. David Kogan will definitely love from the unlocker because he does a lot of hyperlapse video. Um, but the AI emojis are great because you can craft and create your own emojis. I've created mine there. I can remove that. I can go ahead around and play with it. AI emojis option is available with the rear and the front facing camera. And I can swipe up just to show you the wide selfie, AI emojis here. Um, and as you can see, when I jump into it, my emoji pops up because I can now animate my emoji. I've got, you know, the sensors built into there. This is the 845 processor packed in combined with what Samsung's doing software-wise and the Spectre ISP helps me do that. So I can wink and wink in. I know you can't see that. Um, now it's not moving correctly just because I'm bouncing all light, so don't worry about that, but it really is quite effective. You can also do uh, preset animated emojis like, of course, uh, you know, the bunny here is pretty cute. You know, this little uh, fish eye, fish looking type dude, of course, the kitty. Um, and then you can go back to, of course, your own animoji. Now, a cool thing about this is once you create your own animoji, you can actually, it gives you 30 save presets you can use in the messaging app, which is absolutely pretty cool. So I do definitely like that. And uh, I like the fact that you can actually style it and create more, remove it and all that fun stuff. And then of course, 
um, you can go ahead and uh, take uh, focus selfies. So you've got uh, portrait selfies, it's called selfie focus here, which you do. Definitely not the right setting because of all the lighting going on. But the camera app is really well tuned. I like the swiping up and down the switch and swiping left and right to go through all the different modes here, which is nice. Now, if you tap, of course, you've got your exposure, which you can quickly drop or increase. So you have that built in. Also, before I forget to mention, there's also Bigsby Vision. Now, Bigsby Vision has gotten quite a bit of an overhaul here. You've got a bunch of things. So you've got makeup, as you can see, don't mind the glare. Um, you've got text. So this will actually point the camera to text. You want to translate and that will translate language text. Um, this is images, point the camera uh, at something to search and it will find it. You can see already found the Funko, a Funko Pop. Uh, Daenerys Targaryen is what popped up, even though that's Superman. Not as in-depth yet, but still, that is pretty nice. Um, and then we've got point the camera at a product so you can shop. Um, last time I did it, I pointed at a chair. And here's another Funko Pop again. This is NHL version, so that's something. Um, this is also for location, uh, set to GPS points at food you want to find out about so you can give your calories on the food which is cool of course there's one for alcohol as well there's a barcode scanner at the very end and if we scroll through there's the makeup now the makeup you can apply makeup it's probably going to be slightly off so I'm going to be off camera just a second but I can do makeup it actually works out pretty well if you look at the footage from uh, our hands on you can see the makeup setting the makeup up you can also go ahead and add in things like blush eyeshadow there's a whole slew here but the cool thing is you can go ahead and buy it after you're done so everything and everything you use will come up and you've got a sephora uh sephora link here and you can go ahead and make that purchase directly from your device that is pretty cool. But overall, I think this is pretty solid. Stay tuned though, guys. We will have images, low light photos, all that stuff of this camera to showcase to you. But if you have any questions or any comments, let us know, we'll try to answer them for you. Hopefully this gave you a better idea of what this camera can do, just in terms of just the features packed in. I still didn't go over a lot of the stuff here. Um, there's a lot to check out in the camera. We'll have our full review, we'll have our camera, a walkthrough and some of the tips and tricks and all that stuff, but I think this gives you a full idea. The camera is eight megapixels in the front. Uh, the rear camera is a that is uh, dual 12 megapixel camera with, of course, the top camera ha having a uh, f-stop of 1.5 and 2.4. Something really crazy and interesting. I like what I'm seeing right here. So if you have any questions, guys, let me know. Uh, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the notification icon and always enjoy your entertainment.